just go over a little bit the first question about your life and how you started in film and kind of where you are now. Sure. Okay. Um, well, I grew up in Eastern Kentucky, and I went to film school in North Carolina at the North Carolina School of the Arts. And uh, after graduation, I made three feature films uh, on shoestring budgets. Two of them on shoestring budgets, and um, two of them, Pilgrim Song and Passenger Pigeons, both premiered at the South by South by Southwest Film Festival. My latest film, Land Ho, premiered at the Sundance Film Festival. Uh, Land Ho is bought by Sony Classics, and it should be in theaters this summer. So it's awesome. pretty exciting. Yeah. Well, we'll definitely want to show it at Maiden Alley. We're really excited about that. Yes. Um, have you um, been a juror for a film festival before? I have. This is like my third or fourth time serving as a juror. Cool. I enjoy it. I feel like I get to like make things you know, get to uh, choose films that maybe wouldn't always be picked, right. that I, sort of the underdogs, but that speak to me in a lot of ways, so. Right. Yeah, it's exciting, I like doing it. Cool, well that's kind of our philosophy too when we go through our submissions to pick which ones we show at the, the film festival is kind of a mix of uh, underdogs and stuff like that, so. Um, so what, what, when you go into judging the films, which you just said you kind of have a, warm spot in your heart for the underdogs, but what, what kind of criteria um, do you look for? What, what do you, what gets you excited? I think it's like a look for um, performances. Are the performances good? Um, is the dialogue well written? Um, is it well made? And it's kind of a cohesive whole. You look for the total package. Um, so I generally, I try not to focus too much on my taste. Right. And I just try to think about what's, you know, the overall best uh, product. Right. Well, um, I'm curious if the other film festivals that you've juried, are they usually themed or just have one type of film or is it kind of a mix? Let's see. Um, it's kind of a mix. Like I, I done shorts, like as a shorts juror and uh, at the Indie Grits Film Festival in South Carolina, it was really crazy because it was everything, including like experimental and documentary. Yeah. So that was really hard judging all those things as against each other because there's so completely different right so we do have lots of those categories at river's edge but we like to give awards in each of the categories so it shouldn't be too hard yeah <laughs> so and in the past i'm assuming have you usually worked with other jurors i have yeah. and i've made lifelong friends that's awesome. from that you sort of ex you share an experience after that of sitting for like 12 hours a day and watching movies together so um yeah and i've really gone to bat for movies i like and Mm. Got it's gotten heated, but <laughs> overall it's been. I think I've walked away from it. Uh, we all agreed, you know. Right. Yeah, that's awesome because I can imagine opinions would be quite vastly different, and it's kind of hard to come to a consensus. It's really subjective. It's like any other art. Sure, um, and I feel like I am always the one that has the most like polarizing experience watching something. Like I either like love it or hate it. Yeah, <laughs> so, there's no with a lot around. of things. No, there is, but yeah. generally I'm always like the one that has like, I have like really intense feelings about it. Right. Stuff. But was it easy for you to say yes to a film festival in Kentucky? Sure. Um, I want to go back to the quilt museum. Oh, nice. Well, actually, that's one of the venues for the film festival this year. We're oh, using really? one of their classroom spaces. So oh, that was neat. I really like that. But yeah, I thought, and I found a couple like mom and pop bars that were really cute that I enjoyed. And yeah, like I love going to sort of smaller towns mm -hmm. anyway like I prefer film festivals and little spots mm -hmm. um, just because I feel like you get to know that place immediately right or not get to know it but you get a better sense of what it is and you don't get lost right um, so yeah like I I was excited yeah why would why wouldn't I want to do it well, that's awesome. especially in my home state right yeah well I want you to know that we are treating it like this is the trifecta the most amazing juror we've ever had and it's our 10th okay. anniversary so we're really really pumped um, to have you come. Well I'll ask you one more question and I'll let you go sure. and it's one of the most obvious questions. Yes. Um, if you had to pick one of your favorite films what would it be? Oh that's really tough. I you don't, don't know. say the favorite just a favorite that pops in your head. A favorite film that pops into my head. Wild at Heart, David Lynch. Nice. Nice choice. It's one of my, it's, it still sticks with me all the, after all this time, you know, yeah. seeing it as like, as a lonely little 18 year old and it's still sort of being, I mean, my cat is named Sailor Ripley. Nice. <laughs> and it's like one of Nicolas Cage's most fun roles, I think. So mm -hmm. 
and Laura Dern's fabulous in it. So, well, thank you. All right, thank Have you. Nice talking to you. Bye. Bye. Bye.